So timekeeping is really important to do well in the AKT. You've got 200 questions and you've got 190 minutes, so 3 hours and 10 minutes to get through all of them. So that gives you about 57 seconds per question to look at the question, consider the answer options, think about it, decide the answer, select it and move on. So it's really important that you're disciplined. There's quite a few candidates that failed the AKT. One of the reasons they failed is that they didn't actually finish the paper. And so you know, there were marks that they may have known the answers to, but they couldn't see. So it's really important to be disciplined. After about 55 seconds or so, and if you don't know the answer, it's much better to guess. You can flag it for review. So if you do finish, you can always come back and then look at those that you weren't so sure of. But that way, at least all the questions that are easy for you and what's easy for you might be different to what's easy for your friend because you've read different things and had different jobs in your rotation. At least you pick up the easy marks for you. And then if you've got time, you can always come back and struggle with those that are more challenging for you. What sometimes candidates will do is that they spend just 10, 15 seconds extra on 20, 30 questions that they're finding difficult. And the fact that you're finding it difficult already, you're more likely to get it wrong than right anyway. Whereas if they'd guessed, they could have got the easy marks, which might be later on for them and come back to these later. But by spending that little bit of extra time on 20, 30 questions, it builds up such that they missed the last 10 questions, which might have been 10 really easy questions for them. And then if they fell by one or two percent, which lots of people do, you know, often people have fell by one or two marks. Um, uh, you know, it, it's because of the fact they spent too long on those few questions earlier. So that's a really important part of technique is, you know, try to be disciplined with time. If you're not sure, guess, mark it for review, move on, and try to have some checkpoints. So a good pace is about 33 questions every half an hour. At this pace, you'll have gone through half the paper uh, by about just over 90 minutes. You'll finish the whole exam with about 8-10 minutes left, which is enough to go over any you're unsure of. But you know, you've not rushed so fast, you know, you're finishing half an hour early. You've probably rushed and made it some mistakes that you know maybe happen when you rush and don't read some of the keywords or, or something like that equally just spend a minute each question and then you're going to run out of time and not see the last 10 questions that's five percent that could be the difference between pass and fail for a lot of candidates so being disciplined for time so you know 55 seconds you're not sure have a guess move on and have some checkpoints for time so you know about 33 questions every half an hour is a good pace so hope this is useful and we're posting some more tips